right, so we're gonna start on Windows. And we're gonna do some Windows firewall configuration. Let me show you a couple different methods here. First, we're gonna try the Windows built-in Defender firewall. So I'm gonna go to the search bar. I'm just gonna go Windows Defender. Open up Windows Defender. This firewall has been disabled. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna update, we're gonna turn this on, okay? We have this off here. We were doing some malware earlier on this virtual machine. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. Go ahead and just click use recommended settings there and that's gonna turn that on itself. You can also do this by turning Windows Firewall on or off here. And you could turn it on to be, you know, to block everything, uh, block all connections for your domain, for your private network, or for your public network. So you can just take that all-in approach if you want to doing your firewall. But we're going to set up some more advanced rules here. We're going to set up some firewall rules that are going to help us. So we're going to go ahead and go to advanced settings here. Now, we have some rules here. We have inbound connections, outbound connections, and a couple different profiles. And we have our inbound and our outbound rules here. So when you go to your rules, let me make this a little larger. Go to your rules, you're able to sort and see these rules by their function, by different categories. So if we look, we have inbound rules, we can sort this by name. And that's default we see sorted by name, by the group, by your profile, whether it's enabled or not. Action, right now all of these are allow firewalls, allow uh, rules. And by the program, if you have a firewall for a certain program itself. We also can do this by local address or remote address, protocol, port, remote port, etc. So let's Let's do some things. Let's, let's make sure we add some basic rules. And these are rules you might need to add if you're taking a CompT exam and you're doing a performance-based question, you might have to add one of these rules or know how to do one of these rules. So let's go ahead and create a new inbound rule. And this is gonna be for any inbound connections to our computer. So from an external resource to our computer or to our server here. Now this is an example, first off, of a host-based firewall. So this is a, a firewall that is for this server. So it's not a firewall that's on our virtual network here. It's a firewall on our server. So it's going to be handling connections to and from the server itself. To create a new rule, we can go from the actions tab over here on the right, the actions pane, or we can go action. It's going to be the same group of actions here. Action, new rule. It's going to open up a little wizard that we can choose. I'm going to set up a rule to block HTTP connections, not HTTPS. So we're going to pick port. This is where you might want to know your port numbers. I'm going to apply this to TCP transmission control protocol. And I'm going to put 80 there for that port. Now you can apply it to all local ports, but we're going to pick just port 80. And that's going to be for HTTP. What that's going to do is that going to, that's going to block our HTTP, our non-secure connections. Remember, port 443 would govern HTTPS connections, and those would be the secure connections using transfer layer security. The action we're going to have here is to block the connection, and I'll apply this to all of these profiles, the main, private, and public. And I'm going to name this block HTTP. It helps to write a good description. I'll say blocks all HTTP traffic through port 80. Really it's blocking any rule. Now if we go here to action and we sort, we see we have a block rule at the top. I'm gonna do the same thing for outbound connections as well. So I'm gonna 
create a new rule here, make it for a port. TCP specific port 80, block the connection, all areas, I'm going to say blocks all connections on port 80. There we go. And now we have that, that rule enabled and the action here is block for our outbound rules. Now if we try our browser, for most websites we're we'll going to be using HTTPS. So this really wouldn't apply. But let's see if we could find uh, an example of a website that doesn't use HTTPS. Oh, here we go, Baidu USA, HTTP. So let's go ahead and try and connect that to HTTP. Okay, we tried to connect to that page and we weren't able to because we have this firewall rule that blocks port 80 connections. Now, if we just try to connect, um, I'm not really sure what Baidu is. I think maybe it's a commerce website. If we try to go to the HTTPS connection, that's going to load up because it's still allowing HTTPS connections. So it's our rule is working successfully here. And we're, we're blocking all uh, HTTP only connections. So we see HTTP, USA.baidu.com. I don't even know if this is a legitimate website. <laughs> Has no certificate, no TLS certificate. So we're blocking that connection to that website with our firewall rule. So we could do rules using a certain port. Let's do also a different type of rule. We're going to create a new rule here. We could do that for a specific program. So we can block connections for an entire program. And we could find the program. So let's go ahead and look for a program. We can do Windows Media Player and just block Windows Media Player. You're, what you're going to have to do is go to the application itself, browse the path. So if we open up Windows Media Player here. So if we had Windows Media Player, uh, we can block the whole connections. Let's go ahead and try and do that. So we'll say block connection. So if you want to have a program available to your users, maybe you want to have something like Windows Media Player available for your employees, but you don't want them to connect to the internet through that program, then you can block the connection, block the internet connection for that program. but still allow functionality. I'm just gonna name that Windows Media Player. I'm gonna finish that and I'm gonna create a new outbound rule. So, well, this is gonna be connections from our server to any other uh, device or any other website. We're gonna pick program here, do the same thing, browse, Windows Media Player. Okay, block the connection, hit next. Apply that to both domain, private, and public. And I'm going to name that Windows Media Player. So now we have our two rules here. We have two block rules because we just made one. And let's go to Media Player and play around with that. We'll use uh, recommended settings. It's going to try and download certain things from the internet. Now, if we Go to streaming here and we try and connect. Page is failing to load because we blocked all connections here for, we blocked all internet connections to and from Windows Media Player. So we can't stream anything if we can't access the internet. So good example of how to use that to control certain programs and their access to the internet.